What's up, guys? Blood and Mon 14 here, and we're back here in ancient Egypt. Uh, yeah, we're uh, here. We go. We're just gonna do like I said and uh, check out uh, what happened last time we were here. So let's head to the. Oh wait, no wait. I want to head to the. Oops, I want to head to the new uh, card. Well, uh, yeah. Let's see what's going on here anyway. Nobody's here. Looks abandoned. Okay, so pretty much what we saw last time there. But no, what we want to do is head to the hiding card shop right here. Yeah, and we want to go to the uh, hiding dual ground. What, what can I do for you? So let's go to the dueling grounds. All right. And yeah, hopefully we can still duel the people I want to duel. Yeah, I you flood. Yeah, you're looking good, buddy. Want to duel? Yeah, you bet, Jono. Let's duel. Yeah, I got a feeling today is my day. And uh, yeah, Jono might not be wrong there. Um, yeah, um, so you know how pretty early on in the game he was, uh, you know, pretty easy. Didn't have, you know, too many strong cards. Well, let's just say there's a chance things might be different this time. Hmm, then again, I mean, we've got stronger cards too uh, in the meantime, in between time, but let's just play Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Hmm, see what you're going to do about that, Jono. Hmm. Alright, alright. And let's see if Jono's gotten any better cards since we've been gone. Uh, let's just go with, uh, these two will make, uh, Black Dragon Jungle King. So let's go with that. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if you've gotten any better since I've been gone, Jono. Let's just, let's just show this battle here. Ah! Red Eyes Black Dragon for on the first turn. Seems like he has. Seems like he has. What say you? Um, I'm glad I decided to show this battle. Pretty good card for Jono. So, uh, yeah, fun fact. Uh, once you return, you know, once you get all the items and return to Egypt here. Oh, Red Eyes looks so cool. Uh, yeah, uh, Jono and, uh, both Jono and, uh, spoilers, Teyana. Their cards will be much, 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 much better than when you first duel them in the game. And in fact, like, uh, I'm going to show you something after we, you know, because we're going to duel both of them and uh, probably the villagers as well, but, or whoever else is here. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, these two do have different cards. Uh, and that's for a good reason. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys why, you know, after we finish doing, ooh, Mystical Moon. Uh, you know, I kind of do need to test this with some stuff, so... Have I tested it with stuff? You know what, let's just play Stone D. Have I tested it with Stone D? Let's find out. Will this work on Stone D? I mean, I wouldn't think so, but... No, no, okay, okay. Uh, but we know it does work on, like, Ushioni. That's good. Uh, okay, it's... Oh, we have the Guardian Star, okay. Find Swordsman. Yeah. Without fusing. Not bad, Joe. No, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, luckily we got uh, THTD first turn, man, because uh, his deck's looking pretty good, if I may say so myself. You know, so. Alright, let's just go with uh, these two. Fluffy. Fluffy. Flame Cerebus. Alright. And, uh, yeah, let's just attack this. Battle Steer. Pretty solid monster. 1800. Pretty solid monster. Okay. Alright, Jono. Thanks for the duels, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I think I can go to about, uh, about 408. It's, uh, 342 right now. Uh, in the morning. Air Marmot of Nefariousness. You know, that's the first beast we've gotten in a while, so I'll take it. because uh, we do have a lot of fire cards, so... Yeah, man, I was so chill that I was gonna win this time. Yeah, ah, uh, it's okay, Jono. Better luck next time, buddy. Yeah, look like I'm just gonna have to try harder. Uh, let's talk to someone else. Okay, Jono, good duel though, good duel. Hey, Floodmod14, what's up? Oh, hey, Tayana, what's going on? Feel like a duel? Oh, thank God, yes, she will duel us. Yes, let's duel, let's duel, Tayana. Be warned, I'm good. And uh, yeah, she, 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 uh. She ain't playing, man. She ain't playing. Trust me, guys. Trust me. Both her and Jono's decks have gotten a lot better. A lot better. So, 
All right, so it looks like we've got Fluffy first turn. Uh, by the way, for some reason this made uh, like this made like a fire monster last time. Wait, does does Armel does it count as fire? Let me read it here. I mean, I wouldn't think it does, but let's just try it with Fusionist, maybe. Maybe it counts as fire. Oh, it's fusing. Oh my god, dude. Uh, winning. Well, I guess, uh, Armel for some... Okay, well, we got another fire monster in our deck. That's great. Uh, for some reason... I mean, Armel is just a normal, you know, kind of earth monster in the, uh... Oh, we can make another fluffy here. Sweet. In the, uh... Yeah, Armel's just like a normal earth warrior monster in the normal game, so... I don't know why it counts as a fire here, but I'll take it. Spirit of the Heart, 2,000 defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys see what I mean? Yeah, Tia's got, Tiana's gotten some better cards. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 I misspoke. I actually called her Taya there. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, but can, can you really blame me? Can you blame me? I mean, come on. Uh, oh, we have a twin-headed thunder dragon. It took me a minute to see that there for a second. Not used to the, this fusion, but I, there we go. Twin-headed thunder dragon. Uh, shall we show Fluffy's attack? Eh, let's show Fluffy's attack. I like Fluffy. Dark Witch, 1800. Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. So yeah, Tayana Te can beat some of your monsters, like, especially if she gets the Guardian Star right with, uh, like, her Dark Witch. I mean, 1,800 plus a 500, that's 2,300. So, yeah, she's gotten a lot better cards in the meantime, in between time, since we've uh, been gone from ancient Egypt. So, Fire Blast Inferno Fire Spin Attack. Oh yeah. yeah. Dark Witch, the model for her... It looks a little different in this game. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it just looks a little different from uh, Duel of the Roses. I think it looks better in that game, if I'm being quite honest. But, I mean, it looks... I mean, for PS1, it doesn't look too bad in this game, honestly. All right, Fluffy, direct attack. And Thunderbolt, twin hit. All right. And after this duel, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to some other people around at this time, see what's going on. So, all right. We got the in the sun. Uh, let's just go. Let's see if this works. Let's try this because I've been meaning to try this. Uh -huh, Mabelis, do you make ah crimson sunbird? Nice. Okay. Good to know. Good to know we've got that fusion of Abel. Shining friendship. Uh, yeah, she did use that card in the anime, so not too surprised to see her with it here. Okay, let me check what time it is. Looks like we're about 15 minutes or so. You win. What do you got for us, Tiana? What do you got? Dancing it? That's honestly a pretty good card. There are a lot of elf-based fusions in this game, like for Mystical Elf and Dark Elf, so that's honestly not bad. And it's a female, if nothing else, so it counts as a female for fusions. Darn, I lost. Oh, it's okay, Tiana. I know I played better than I've ever played before. I mean, honestly, your cards did seem a lot stronger than we were here last time, so... All right, so let's uh, see what's going on. Let's talk to some other people that are here. Maybe something will happen. Flood my 14. It's nice to see you're still alive, partner. Uh, Prince Floodmine 14. So you're royalty, eh? Oh, right. I guess Bill's your one found out about it, huh? Uh, feels strange after all we've been through. Bro, why are you giving off main character energy? What? Hey, everything seems so unreal. That's why we keep doing it. It's all we got to keep us sane. Oh, I hear you, partner. Hope you don't mind if we treat you like we did before. Come on, let's play. Um, uh, we'll try to win. Hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and do them. I mean, win or lose, no hard feelings, partner. I'm glad to admit you. <laughs> okay, villager one. <laughs> like, what, what was up with that 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 line of dialogue? He's like, yeah, after all we've been through, like, what? Yeah, ah, dancing elf, an elf that dances across the sky with wings of razor sharp blades. Uh, yeah, let's uh, hmm, let's swap out something here. Um, let me go to my types here. Um, oh yeah, and we got air marmot too, so maybe I'll throw that in here. Um. 
Tell you what, tell you what. Let's swap out. Hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of a laughing flower for dancing elf. I like the fusion potential. And I, I want to see if we can make dark elf. Maybe. Hmm, maybe I'll try her with like one of our dark spellcasters. Well, that, that seems, you know, reasonable. Mm hmm. Her plus like a. Uh, okay, oh, do I have a fire? Do I have a fire? I do not. Okay. Well, uh, looks like we can make regular Thunder Dragon. Uh, sure. It's just Villager 1. Why not? Why not? And I'm not going to show any of the duels of the monsters attacks in this one. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know why I dueled them. I didn't just duel them just because. Uh, if you make it back here, you know, there's really no reason. You don't really need to duel villager uh, one. You know, unless you just want to. I mean, and you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically I've done the majority of what I wanted to do for this episode, so I figure, eh, why not? Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, villager one, minus radiant. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, yeah. I don't know, but maybe there's a good chance. Maybe he'll give us something good in the campaign, like uh, Pegasus or Kaiba did. I mean, I mean, who knows, bro? Who knows? Uh, we'll just go with Mystical Sand here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Old Milus Radiant. Arm Ninja. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Villager 1 still... Pretty easy going, uh, so. But hey, nice, nice break, nice break. You know, and uh, he did give us, you know, some kind of dialogue there. So, yeah. All right, we'll just throw this on top of uh, uh, Thunder Dragon here. Should be able to wrap this up. Boot show. Uh, Turtle Bird, get him. Dancing Elf, we just won that card, courtesy of Tiana. Alright. Pretty easy. Let me see what time we're at. Okay. At about 3.51 now. Uh, what do you got? Change slide. Oh, okay. I mean, if nothing else, we got five star chips from pretty easy, so. Uh, whew. I just can't win against you, partner. Ah, it's okay, buddy. Let's talk to someone else. Ah, it's very difficult to get rare cards these days. Really tough. Well, do you want to play? Um... Eh, maybe I shouldn't, actually, against Villager 2. There actually is a chance I could lose against him, so let's talk to someone else, so... Oh, and there's Villager 3. It's been a while, boy. I've been here every day. I've got nowhere else to go. All oh, right, man, I... Yeah, I hate hearing what happened to you guys in this timeline, but, you know... Things change around here, yeah. You know, I lost my interest in dueling these days. All I do now is come here to trade cards. Oh, well, let's talk to someone else. I mean, I'd be glad, I'd be cool with that Villager 3 if you would actually trade me some cards, but, uh, unfortunately, that's not actually a function in this game, so, yeah. Okay. Oh, we did do a couple duels there, so let's just go ahead and save, you know. What can I do for you? Uh, card shop? Save. Yes. Okay, and let me show you guys something here real quick. Uh, let's return the title. And, uh, remember what I said about Tayana and Jono, uh, having, you know, better cards and better decks and stuff? Well, if you go here to Free Duel, and this is what we're gonna be doing, you know, believe it or not, like, I know we just got done with a grinding session, like, like a pretty long one. Uh, like right there in the middle of the tournament before Pegasus and Ishizu. But, uh, yeah, believe it or not, like, uh, we're probably gonna enter into another grinding session, like, as soon as this episode's over. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like, what, really? It, tr trust me, we need, uh, we need to do it. Uh, but yeah, once you duel, uh, Jono, 
uh, yeah, and uh, Tiana, once you return back to ancient Egypt, you know, you'll unlock Jono 2. And uh, yeah, Tiana 2. Ah, but who should be here? Hmm, I wonder. Well, uh, anyway, let's just. Uh, but, all, but all the other people will still have the same decks. Like, we beat Villager 1 again. You don't unlock, like, Villager 1, 2. You don't unlock Villager 2, 2. And, like, obviously, Villager 3 won't even duel you anymore. So, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Jono 2 and Teon 2. We'll probably be dueling Jono 2 quite a lot in the next, you know, grinding session. So, just, just saying. Uh, let's head back. Head back to ancient Egypt. I think we still have time for this. Yes, yes we do. Okay. So let's head back to the campaign. Okay, let's leave the shop and let's uh, let's let, let's do a little checking around. You know, now that uh, you know, now that we're back. So let's head to. Now, remember uh, Simon told us to. Um, head to the uh, uh, Forbidden Ruins. So this is where we landed, like when we first came back. Maybe something's different here, Shrine of Glory. Let's just head here. Looks like the ruins of a temple. Okay. But uh, yeah, if you remember, uh, uh, Simon did tell us to head to the ruins. So let's head over here to the King's Valley. Let's see if anything's going on here. Hmm. Ah. Nice music here. Ah, who is that? None may enter the valley of the kings. Leave here at once. Ah, double take. My, my prince, you are alive. Hello, uh, who are you? Ah, I am Sabine. For generations, my family has guarded this valley. This guy looks like a Shadi's ancient ancestor. Uh, but in the actual anime, uh, Shadi is a... Uh, you know, ancestor in ancient Egypt it was actually Hassan, if you remember that. Yeah, uh, Hassan, you know, the guy with the, like the gold mask um, there in the uh, Millennium World arc. But um, like I said in a few other episodes, this was obviously before the anime, so it's kind of nice to see uh, Shadi get some representation here. Uh, but uh, obviously, Hassan is way, way cooler, but you know, anyway. Please rest assured that I have kept Haishin out of this valley, my prince. Um, how did you do that, bro? Because, like, everyone keeps talking about how these guys have Millennium Items and their power's too strong. How did you... I, I don't know, maybe you set some traps or something? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, because, like, a lot of the, uh... Uh, the, uh, like, parts, you know, like, to even get to the Millennium Puzzle, that, that place was riddled with traps, so maybe that's what Sadin did here, but, I mean, come on, bro. I'm sorry about what happened to the Pharaoh and Queen. Oh, my daddy and mommy? What? What happened? The vital ones have taken over this land, but now, now that you are alive, there's hope once again for everybody. Uh, okay, so can I go to my parents' tomb? Oh, so they're, they're, oh, they're, they're dead, guys. They're dead. So can I go to my parents' tomb? Ah, the remains of the Pharaoh and Queen are not here. What? I'm sorry to say that Haishin wouldn't allow. Oh, bro, that is, that is low. That is just, come on, bro. Ah, is there anything else you want? Uh, well, Simon did tell us to check out the Forbidden Ruins, so maybe we can go there? Maybe? Ah, the Forbidden Ruins. Ah, Simon Moran said it was here. Yeah, yeah, he told us that, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, but I never seen such a place. What? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, there are so many tombs for royalty. Nobody knows which tunnel leads to where. Oh, okay, okay. If there's a forbidden tomb, I don't know where it is. I'm sorry, my friends. My apology. Oh, okay. Anything else, my friends? Well, if you don't know where the ruins are, I guess we're done here. Uh, if you require my services, you can always find me here. Okay, well, that's kind of strange because Simon did tell us, you know, head to the Forbidden Ruins, but this guy seems to have said like, oh, you know, I don't know where the Forbidden Ruins are. Hmm. You know, so... The, it seems like we're stuck here, and a lot of people do get stuck at this point of the game. But ultimately, what you need to do, um, and since we did do all that talking with us, Sadin, I am going to save here. Uh, 
But ultimately, like, yeah, a lot of people do get stuck in this part of the game sometimes. Uh, but what you need to do uh, after we save here, I'll show you guys. So let's leave the shop here. Let's leave the shop. I think I still have time for the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have time. What you need to do is go here to the Pharaoh's Palace. You know, as dangerous as this would seem, this is where you need to go. There's nobody here. Okay. Enter. Yeah, let's enter. You can choose to enter or not. Let's just enter. Everything's been destroyed. Oh, man. Ah, who are you? No one's allowed here. Out. Get out. Uh... How about we play a children's trading card game and the winner says what happens? You dared resist me? I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, let's just school him. Bring it on, buddy. I've gotten much better cards since I was last here in Egypt, and I'm not afraid to show them to you. As long as I draw them, that is. Uh... <laughs> oh, well. Uh, anyway. Uh, I did say I want to try her with the Dark Spellcaster, so let's try. Yeah, will this make a new fusion? Oh! Ah! So, Dancing Elf, plus, uh, Ancient Sorcerer, Dark Elf, 2000 Attack. Yeah, let's see what you do about that, buddy. <laughs> Alright, what do you got? What do you got? Yeah, you got nothing. Defense mode, buddy. Okay, man, we're not getting our best draws here. Um, let's just set Masaki. I'm not really sure what kind of cards this guy's got, but uh, we'll attack with Dark Elf. Um, yeah. Weather report. Okay, 1500. It seems like this guy is pretty weak, so. Well, uh, I, I hope he is, because. You know. Oh! Oh, Mysterious Puppeteer. Ha! You couldn't even beat my Masaki, bro. <laughs> Well, and we know this card does count as a fire, so you know what? Let's use Masaki and yeah, flame and sword, man. flame and sword battle. Uh, but we haven't seen Dark Elf attack, so let's let's show her off real quick here. Yeah, let's see what she's got. Nice. Oh, so Dancing Elf seems to be a pretty good drop there from Tayana. I'm glad we got it. Dark Elf is back in our deck. Heck yeah. I wonder how she... Ah, nice. Let's see what you've got, Dark Elf. Ah, it's a gimmick puppet monster. Man, <laughs> haven't seen you guys since uh, 2019. Oh, 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 magic force attack. Yeah, yeah you like that mysterious puppeteer? How about that? That looks pretty good for PS1. Nice job, Dark Elf. Welcome to the team. That was... Yeah. Yeah, there's some pretty cool animations in this game, bro. All right. Flame and Sword of Battle. There we go. All right. I think we've got this guy. <laughs> he tried to swing his mysterious puppeteer at us. Come on, bro. What? Oh, Guardian Star. Okay. Okay. You know, Blackland is a decent monster. You know, so... Okay. All right, let's go with uh, this to make uh, Spike Seedra. All right, all right. Uh, Pluto, sure. Okay, any Guardian Stars? Okay, no, just checking, just checking. All right, so he, he had one decent monster with the Guardian Star. Okay. All right, all right. But yeah, this guy's not too hard. I mean, you should be able to make it past him. If you can make it past Jono too, you can make it past this guy. Easy, easily. Alright, let's go with Neckle Gal. Number two, Electric Boogaloo. Alright, Guardian Star. Oh, we need Pluto. Yeah. Ooh, seven colored fish. Ooh. Ooh, I take back what I said. That's actually a really, really, really good card. I wouldn't mind winning that card. Yeah, I take back what I said. You know, maybe this guy does have some decent monsters and he just he just got some bad luck. 1800 on a fusing that's actually pretty solid okay I, I take it back i take it back man yoki boar uh that's an it's an all right insect monster it's got like 1400 defense you know y'all called well boy i underestimated you yeah you did see ya this room it used to be simon's room oh okay okay so yeah like i said a lot of people get stuck at, at this part of the game but this is where you need to go 
and you just want to hit search here. Ah. Flood in Mon 14 discovers an ancient papyrus. Da -da 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 -da. And I hate that they don't play like a, a little jingle here or something. It's a map to the Forbidden Ruins. Ah, okay. This map should lead to the Forbidden Ruins. Okay. And so ultimately what you want to do is obviously like uh, uh, Shadi's uh, ancestor, Sadin, he was just like, yeah, I don't know where they are, the Forbidden Ruins, even though Simon told us to go here. Well, now that we found the map, Ultimately, that's what you want to do. You want to take it to uh, uh, him, and uh, yeah, and uh, then something will happen. Uh, but do we have time for that? Uh, oh, we're at about 4.05. Eh, we might have time for it. Let me tell you what. Let me just save here real quick. Uh... I'll try to get it in this episode, but if we don't have time, I'll, I'll you know, redo the cutscene. I, I won't save or anything, and we'll just, uh, we'll do it next episode, at the start of the next episode. Uh, let's leave the shot. Okay. So, hit, yeah, circle there. Okay, so let's go to over here, Kings Valley. Okay, and let's show uh, Sadin the map. Let's see if we can get this in time. Can I be of service? Uh, yeah, so give map. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Ah, so Master Simone did leave, leave a, behind a clue to the whereabouts of the ruins. Let me see. Right, I know what this is. Please follow me. Okay. Alright. Ah, further on, you'll find the room marked on the map. Oh my. Whoa. I've heard stories about this place before, but I've never been here. The ancient sorcerers, they hid their secrets and their magic within the royal tomb. Ah, it's rumored that some of their secrets were passed on to their descendants. So this is the place. There's a drawing on this wall depicting the past. And over there, some kind of map. Okay, let's uh, look at the map. I love the music here, by the way. This map. There's some kind of mark. Uh, <laughs> that drawing on the wall marks the location of the Millennium Items. Seto? And now, it reveals the spots in the temple where Haishin has hidden his Millennium Items. <laughs> the mages will remain powerful as long as the Millennium Items remain in the temple. Providing them with a source for their magic. Ah, you! What are you doing here? Ah, I followed you here, Prince. Floodmon 14. I've been searching for the Forbidden Ruins myself. Oh, that can't be good. I also believe that Haishin's violent this place as well. What? Well then... But Sadin said he kept, you know, people out of here. What, what's what's going on? Well, obviously, this is the place that uh, Hai Shin found, you know, to start the game. It's, you know, is what Seto's saying here. With that drawing on the wall to guide him, he discovered the Millennium Items. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. He may be a mage, but he comes from a line of sorcerers. Ah, yeah, you know, Simon and him did say that when they were getting into it. So he plans to find all the Millennium Items so that he may rule over the world one day. <laughs> and why would Hai Shin's lackey tell us all of this? Uh, that's a good point. Like, is this a betrayal? What's going on here? And why? I have my own reasons. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Yeah, okay, Seto. That, that is much like Seto. But first, let's see what Prince Floodmon 14 is capable of. You want a duel? Let's go right now, buddy. Let's do it. You now know where to find the High Mages. If you're half the card master you think you are, use your Millennium Item and defeat them. Wait, is he helping us? What? Ah, uh, we don't have to listen to you. Yeah, Sadin, tell him, tell him. I'm not talking to you two, Keeper. I speak to your prince. <laughs> Farewell. That was weird. Hold it. Mmm, I smell a rat. No, 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 what you smell, Sadin, is money. 
That's the smell of money, because uh, Seto just left. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Seto, he is Haishin's right hand man. Why in the world would he try to help you? Yeah, it is pretty suspicious, you know, but uh, my prince, I advise caution. There's more to this than meets the eye. I couldn't agree more, Sadim. Ah, uh, well, we looked at the map. I guess let's look at the drawing. Do we still have time? Hang on. Maybe, maybe. Let's, let's look at the drawing. It looks like a drawing of some sort of spell. Could this be describing one of the forbidden items? Hmm. So maybe that's how uh, Hai Shen found, you know, his first item, the Millennium Rod. So, let us return. Okay. So we found out a lot of good information there. I sense the most, maybe more secrets hidden within that chamber, my prince. Be wary of the vile de designs of Hai Shin and his minions. Yeah, I don't really trust Seto either. I will always be here for you if you need me. All you have to do is call on me. Aw, oh, thanks, Sadian. I appreciate your help, buddy. Appreciate your help. Well, guys, um, also, if you head around, you may see some different things, but uh, we're going to check those all out uh, next time, guys. So uh, I'm going to head here and save. And, uh, yeah, we will check those all out uh, next time. So what can I do for you? Uh, card shop. And, oh, it looks like we're still recording. Good, good, good. All right. Yeah, let's save. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you all for uh, joining me in this episode. Uh, yeah, and I will probably be doing some more duels of light grinding next time. Uh, so, yeah, just be ready for that. Uh, like I said, mostly against Jono, too, is what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, but yeah, thank you guys all for joining me. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. And uh, have a good day. All right, so let's uh, return the title here. All right. Oh, okay. And um, oh, I, I didn't even. Are we still recording? Yeah. And the, I guess uh, the guy we did beat there in Simon's room, Mage Soldier. So that's who was in the empty spot here. So. Uh, we did unlock him, too, so uh, maybe we can win some good cards from here, like that, uh, that seven-colored fish looking pretty good, so. 